So uh, I'm Jeremy Madsen. I'm the CEO of Greenbelt Alliance. And you know, I think back to when I think it was Fred who called me and asked me to be on this, this committee. And the very first thing that ran through my head is that saying, uh, never let a good crisis go to waste. Um, and I think that's the situation we're in right now. I moved to the Bay Area in 1996. Housing affordability, I think, has always been a problem. Um, and the, the, the scale and the scope of the crisis right now is unlike we've ever had before. And I think what that does is it's bringing us all together. Um, and you know, people who just a few years ago might have differed on what the problem was, definitely differed on what the solution is, are now you know, starting to think, as I think Steve said, you know, we're getting closer to 80% on the same page. And I, I think that's exciting. And so I think the, the comprehensiveness of the agenda that we've got laid out here is very exciting. I, I, I love the three Ps. I love the fact that we're thinking about legislation. We're thinking about financing. We're thinking about local regulation. Um, I think if we think in those, all of those buckets, we, we have a chance. Um, but I will say, you know, I bumped into uh, one of the technical committee people leaving here today. I'm not going to out who it was. Um, and I asked him after, you know, three meetings, how are we doing? And uh, his, it was a him, so that narrows it down. Um, uh, his response was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hopeful. I think in a couple of the buckets, we might have a couple things that will get us a little bit of the way. And my response back is, all right, I think our job is to take it to, we're in all the buckets, uh, we're making big progress. And I think, you know, Dave, you just gave me my, my favorite new thing of the day, uh, order of magnitude solutions. You know, we're really stepping up and doing the work that needs to be done at the scale that needs to be done to, uh, to make an impact. Um, all that said, I will say, I think, um, uh, and, and I think Grace said it a second ago, the, the word manageable, I think, is a good one. Um, there's a lot of solutions I think we can put on the table that um, that'll be great and with the right amount of money and the right amount of time, you know, 50 years from now, we'll, we'll, we'll reach that solution. Um, I'd love to see us going forward with things that are really pushing the envelope, taking it to scale, and that we can walk out of this process in a few months or even as Ellen was saying, uh, you know, sooner if we find things that actually can be done now. Um, and start implementing and, and, and making immediate progress. Uh, you know, I think, Michael, you said enemy should not, uh, perfect should not be the enemy of the good. Um, last thing I'll say is, you know, so I'm from Greenbelt Alliance. I think I'm the only person on the committee that, you know, quote, unquote, brings the environmental hat. Uh, we are all about making sure the right kind of development happens in the right places. Um, I sometimes joke internally, you know, we're the, we're the most pro-development environmental group you're going to run across. Um, and, uh, uh, but I think we should really be thinking in those terms of where do we want to see development happen? What kind of development should that be? Um, how do we do that development in a way that deals with and is sensitive to the displacement, the affordability issues, um, and that, uh, you know, we're, we're handling and being true to what's laid out in Plan Bay Area, um, to the, uh, what makes the Bay Area a special place to our contribution and our uh, contribution to solving the, the climate crisis. Um, and, uh, uh, and I think at the same time, this idea of there are sacred, some sacred cows that are going to be gored, we need to, need to think about what those cows are. Um, it should be easier to develop the right thing in our cities and towns. Um, and uh, uh, if we're going to protect uh, the places that we want to see development not happen. And I think that's one thing we should put on the table. I know right now it's hard to develop um, in what I consider to be the wrong places, and it's even harder to develop in the places that I consider to be the right places. Um, so let's make that easier. Um, last thing I'll quickly say, and again, I think it builds off something that somebody else said. Um, I, part of the reason I'm really excited to be here is I think we have an opportunity to really be a model. You know, you look across not just California, but you look across the country, we've got um, you know, a political climate where people are pitted against each other, you know, uh, whether it's developers and business leaders against social equity advocates and environmentalists or, or, or whatever it is. Um, this is exciting to see a room that is, you know, the developers, the business leaders, uh, equity advocates like Ellen, environmentalists like me, um, uh, you know, the elected leaders of the, the region, the three mayors of the big cities who have, you know, many, many important things to be doing, and they're here, at least two of them are here right now. Um, and I'll take that up with Sam. Um, and, uh, uh, and so I think, 
you know, this is this is about while this is all about the Bay Area, this is about more than the Bay Area, and I think that's exciting.